What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Back with another video. It's the beginning of the year. It's springtime. We've got New Year's resolutions to exercise more. Biking is a great way of doing that. Well, today we're doing a bicycle seat review. You've seen this bike on the channel before, but one recent major upgrade I made that you should make too is upgrading the seat. So let's go ahead and talk about that now because it is extremely important. As meager as it may seem, it makes a huge difference. So I recently upgraded the seat. Now, just keep in mind, this is a Trek hybrid fitness bike. It's a commuter bike. It's a fitness bike. And it's also a race bike, sort of all in one. So it may differ from the bike that you ride. Maybe you ride a mountain bike or strictly a road bike or a cruiser, like on the beach, for example. This is different than those bikes. So just keep that in mind doing your seat upgrade. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the one that we have. And let me tell you about some of the differences and some of the changes that I've made riding the bike now that I've upgraded the seat. So let's start off where I bought this seat. Well, I bought it at the Trek store, which is a good place to go to get a good bicycle seat. And this one cost $100, so it was expensive, but it is worth it. But if you don't feel like going to the Trek store, one place you can go to is the website where you will find under not accessories, but parts, seat posts and seats. Obviously, you'd want to click on seats and you can scroll through their inventory if you don't feel like going to the Trek store. But I do recommend going to the Trek store. Yes, they are expensive, but they are good quality seats and you do know what you're getting when you buy something. For example, on their website, you can see the exact sizes and dimensions and also get a brief product description, what the seat is best used for, what type of riding, what type of bike, etc. So this seat that I have installed is the Verse Comp. Like I said, it was $99. And that is expensive, yes, but it has challenged me as a rider because it does offer some advantages over the seat that I originally had on this bike. Yes, it was expensive at $100. And by the way, that is not the most expensive seat you can get. But when you do pay more than say $30, for example, which is like your average budget bicycle seat, you do get features that make you a better rider that change the way you ride the bike. So the first thing you'll actually notice about this seat is the grippy texture on top of it, maybe picking up your bike or wiping something off the seat, maybe if it's wet, you'll notice that it's got a soft, grippy surface. It's a rubber material. And what I actually found riding the bike is it's kind of grippy. So wearing this with pants or shorts, it doesn't matter. If you're wearing pants or shorts without a belt, for example, it will pull your pants off sliding back and forth on the seat. So it really does encourage you to stay on the seat and not move around as much. But also to make sure that it's at least somewhat comfortable, it does have a feature called wing flex. And the way that they can make it comfortable is with this feature called wing flex. And the way that wing flex works is it uses a specific plastic that allows the seat to flex. And this is comfortable. I enjoy this feature. But what I actually noticed was picking the bike up from the rear, for example, I do from time to time get creaking and cracking, flexing that plastic piece underneath wing flex on Trek's website. So just keep in mind, it may sound like a low quality seat at first, but when you start getting into bicycle seats like this that are lightweight and 
will utilize like these advanced features, there are compromises. It will flex depending on changes in weight and riding style. So definitely check this out. If you've got a bike like this, the Verse Comp Pro is a really good seat. Um, but again, going back to what we were saying at the beginning of the video, this is a hybrid fitness bike. Maybe you've got a commuter or a mountain bike or a race bike. This seat might not be for you, but again, going on Trek's website is a great place to shop for a bicycle seat because you can get the rundown on what type of seat you're getting and what type of bike it is best for, what activity you're using it for, so on and so forth. But really cool feature, wing flex. And I'm sure some of those other seats for those other bikes have really cool features too. Now, let me give you my first impressions. Let's get away from the hardline stuff, like buying this on Trek's website, the features, the dimensions of it, all the technical stuff. Let's throw that off to the side and talk about my first impressions, what it's like riding. And well, first and foremost, it does have wing flex and it does adjust to the way that you ride and how you sit on it. But what you will notice is this seat is hard. Now, if you're purchasing a new bicycle seat for a cruiser bike or a mountain bike or a road bike, you might go for a seat that's really soft. Well, because me, I like to race and I like thin and light, what I noticed about a seat like this is it's hard on the butt. And when you ride this bike for more than 15 miles, you start to notice it, it really get painful like acupuncture almost and makes it extremely uncomfortable to sit on which does in the end result in a faster ride me getting home faster and me keeping actually probably a better posture on the bike it keeps me more upright it's so hard and so painful sitting on it for long periods of time you know a bicycle seat like this is probably not something you want if you are cruising like on the beach for example though i did find that from time to time if you sit on it just right you can use this seat for that but um, for the most part it's a hard stiff seat and last but not least going back actually to some of the technical specifications the dimensions of this seat are 250 millimeters wide by 145 millimeters long and what that equates to is this being the verse short comp bicycle seat there is a verse comp bicycle seat this is the verse short comp and that's because it's shorter than the regular verse comp and what i appreciate about the length of this only being 145 millimeters is simply it's easier to get on and off the bike not having the extra length in the seat does make it easy to sort of cross over getting on and off the bike so uh, that is an important first impression when I pull up to the convenience store or the supermarket or I'm running an errand somewhere and I go inside and am inside for five minutes and come back out getting on and off the bike is part of that process and having the shorter bicycle seat makes that easier so shopping for this online or any other bike seat for example do keep that in mind a shorter saddle in length will make it easier to mount and dismount the bike maybe if you like a longer saddle then consider that but for me I do appreciate using this in the city having the shorter bicycle seat okay guys hit that like button subscribe this has been a bicycle seat review this particular seat is the verse comp i bought this at trek you can get it on trek.com it was a hundred dollars this is a hybrid fitness bike so do keep in mind this is the type of bike this seat is designed for if you've got like a cruiser or a mountain bike obviously consider other seats because this may not be the seat for you but just wanted to make this review because if you bought a bicycle maybe for Christmas or got one as a gift and plan on using it 
for maybe some of those New Year's fitness resolution goals. One upgrade you can make to your bike that you might not be thinking of that will make a huge difference is the bicycle seat. So check them out on trek.com or maybe other bicycle stores, but I do recommend Trek because like I said, going on their website, you get just basically all the information you need and it will make it easier picking out a bicycle seat, which I strongly recommend doing. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below for more. My name's John and I will see you in the next review.